last couple of years, category management has come into its own as a profession. Uh, future trends in retail, and in particular, retail marketing. It's always such a pleasure for me to, 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 really look, to look out and, and see, uh, see a wonderful group of experienced people, uh, different, part, different segments of the industry, uh, all of whom have come together with us to talk about what still is my favorite topic, and that is uh, category management. We're now entering, and we are in, frankly, the next wave, the next phase of this uh, process, the next wave, which is shopper marketing. Today I work with um, a and and I help with a lot of the strategic things. I talk to the folks and uh, help give the executive management team some good guidance in terms of what to do, where to go, how to play, all that kind of neat, boring stuff. So the art of category management is beginning to get turned on its head. Value is the issue. I didn't say price, I said value. What is value? Getting what you pay for because the shopper today is seeking solutions when they walk into the store. And everything we think about and do, organizational structure, business processes, measures, all should be aligned with the shopper. And as I reflect on the last two days, just think about the content of this meeting and what's been accomplished. We've had great speeches, great content, great panel discussions. Very good question. There's a lot of new knowledge that has come out of this conference in the last two days. I've been watching this industry for a long, long time. I've been watching these things that have frustrated you and frustrated your retail partners and frankly frustrated me as an information guy from way, way back. And I think if we're going to tackle the business differently, if we're going to evolve and progress, shopper marketing, customer-centric uh, marketing, if it's going to have any different results, we have to start to address what's going on in the store. Today's final session is probably, in my opinion, the most important session of the conference and really the culmination of a lot of work uh, on behalf of a number of people. This is a, a very needed uh, effort in the industry. What you get to do as your own organization is identify where do you want the basic level skill set to start and how fast or how slow do you want individuals in that role to progress upwards. So our, our mission uh, was three parts. The first was to provide some general guidelines, uh, primarily to help define what the structure might be for a category management organization. And then finally, um, to establish the means for the organization or the industry to endorse and certify individuals that have attained those proficiencies or become fluent in these skill sets. Catman has been around for a good number of years and it's sort of surprising that we haven't had a common language to this point. The other thing um, that the standards help us, and this goes to you know, the university side of things, it provides some direction and, and a foundation for education content. Dealing with our HR department by having a third party, such as CPG Cabinet, be the lead in this. And it, we're all advisors here, uh, and we work for different companies and trying to provide some insight into CPG Cabinet and to the universities. That's what uh, allows our HR departments to know that you know, these are the right measures to put in place. I, said I sat with my HR person and it was great because you're actually helping them in their job. And that's how it was received by my HR department. Uh, and, it, what, and the thing that's great about this is the level of detail. 
because once they saw the level of detail, it became very easy for them to both approve it and to embrace it. I really am so pleased with what Donna and her folks are doing here with the university piece of what the association is doing is powerful. That's the future, guys. That's the future. The future is here in education. The development of the next generation of professionals to work in this space is going to come from university campuses. We do a few things that I think really help make us a strong program. I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to give back to the industry uh, in some of the talent we're generating. Uh, we have a remarkable number of people internationally coming and saying we really want to have chapters and so you'll see those forming and getting active. When you look at global trends, things that are happening in U.S., Europe, uh, Asia, we take for granted sometimes the global trends. I am so excited to see that despite all the recession and everything else that we're talking about, Indian consumers don't even know what's going on. They're still buying like as though there's no tomorrow. There are a lot of retailers that I know in, in, in South America and as well in, in, in Mexico that really wants to have this kind of uh, capabilities and this kind of process. And I, I'm very sure that they can support and adopt this program as well as the vendors. So I see a lot of value with this trip and I hope that uh, soon this could be in Monterey, Mexico. Really all the presentations have been dynamite and I've, you know, the Coca-Cola, Anheuser-Busch, Dr. Pepper, just phenomenal insight you're, I, I got from uh, what some of the top companies are doing and also a, a lot of great networking going on here. I've made a lot of good contacts, uh, saw a lot of old friends and, you know, met some new people that hopefully turn out to be uh, good leads for, for Nielsen. full alignment and it's to align the retailer with the supplier because when you have full alignment you're now truly in a position to touch the shopper. In category management there has to be greater collaboration, better partnering between the retailer and the supplier to satisfy all those quirky odd needs of the consumer, address the economic stress as well as come up with some incremental opportunity. CPG Catnet's going to be an association that's helping shape the future. Um, and I think there is no doubt that, that we've achieved that today. But in the end, it's not the method that really counts. It's the people that use the method that really make the difference.